Hello. Okay. So this video is something that I should have made a long time ago. If you know me personally, you know what I'm talking about. This is going to be my opinion on all 12 zodiac signs, relationship and friendship, men and women. Okay. But like I said, if you know me, you know I should have done this video a long time ago. If you know me personally, you know I'm obsessed with astrology. I used to study it whenever I was little. I still study it now as a grown woman. I'm completely obsessed. Yeah, I don't know if it's healthy or not, but anyways. Uh, but yeah, this is my personal experience with every one of the zodiac signs for relationship and friendship. Um... Yeah, so yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna start with Aries. Um, I'm gonna start with Aries women in a friendship. Them in general, uh, women wise, is very loud. They have to be heard. They want you to hear their opinion all the time. Doesn't matter when, where. However they say it, they're going to say it. Um, they're fighters, which obviously they're the fire element. Um, so that's the one, like a surprise for me. Uh, but yeah, being with them in a friendship was a lot. They were just always loud, very obnoxious. So didn't like Aries women at all. I don't like Aries women at all, to be honest with you. Um, unless we're like probably like, I don't know, going out to the club where we can be loud and be obnoxious, then yeah, I'll call on them for that. So moving on to Aries men. Aries men in general to me, they're very different from the Aries women, which I like because yeah, um, Aries men, they're very calm, very calm, cool, collected, the three C's, okay, uh, Every Aries man that I meet doesn't, like, barely talks. And I like that. Like, I love someone who doesn't have to be extra, who doesn't seek attention for validation from anybody. Um, I don't know. I like Aries men. I dated an Aries man. He was very quiet, didn't talk much, never got riled up. Uh, we did not last long. I do believe that was my fault. Uh, I believe I broke up with him for my ex. Worst decision to ever make. Don't break up with somebody you know is good for your ex. It does not go well. I don't care how long you and your ex have been together. It will not go well. Don't do it. Period. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So... That's really all I have much to say about them. I don't have much to say about Aries. I don't come in contact with Aries a lot. When I do, I know I can always spot them out. They always, uh, Aries women always have like, uh, I don't want to say an attitude. There's some people, you know, like, there's a lot of them I do get along with. It's just the loudness, be the noxious, the always need for attention because they are the fire element so they are technically you could you could say they're the leader they're the leaders they always have the attention on them uh that would be the only thing that is a turn off for me really uh but yeah moving on to Sagittarius uh Sagittarius I'm about to go in okay because yeah so Sagittarius woman before I say anything, there is a difference between the November Sagittarius and December Sagittarius, okay? Um, November Sagittarius, no filter, complains a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Beg for attention, like not actually begging for attention, but like within their actions. Once they get it, they don't want it, I notice. Like, they get mad at you whenever you give it to them. That irritates me. My Mercury is in Sagittarius. If you know about astrology, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My Mercury is in Sagittarius, so whenever I communicate with people, I'm very cut and dry. I'm very black and white about anything. Um, 
I have no filter. I will tell you exactly how I feel whenever I feel the way I do. Um, yeah, there's no filter. I'm a very blunt person, so a lot of people can't handle that. So if you um, are sensitive, we would never be friends because you can't handle the real raw honesty about me. Um, I do not sugarcoat anything. So that is something I know you can't handle. So that's that on that. But yeah, Sagittarius women, though November Sagittarius women, I'm gonna say that because there is a big difference. I'm gonna explain the difference. Yes, they do complain a lot. Um, there's this November Sagittarius woman that I was friends with. Uh, again, my Mercury is in Sagittarius, so I typically do get along and I do communicate well with fire signs um, because I have fire in my chart. So yeah, they do complain a lot. They have no filter. I appreciate that. I don't like people who sugarcoat anything or beat around the bush, so I appreciate that. Uh, it's just the complaining, the constant begging for attention, and then getting mad at people whenever you actually receive the attention and say that, oh, everybody talks about me. Everything's about me. It's like, okay, but you make it about you every single time. Every single time there's a conversation, it has to be centered around you and your feelings. Nobody else can have an opinion if it's not about you, Sagittarius. November. Uh, and now I'm going to talk about December... Sagittarius woman. Big difference, like I said. Okay. Um, they do not complain as much as a November Scorpio, uh, November Sagittarius woman at all. Um, actually, when they do complain, they uh, cut it off really quick. Like, they'll say something, like a sentence, like, oh, I didn't like such and such, or I didn't know, I didn't like when this and this happened. And... And that's it. Like, but November, they'll go on and on and we'll talk all day about it. We'll probably go a few months talking about it whenever it's brought up or they'll bring it up themselves. <sighs> so annoying. But anyway, yeah, uh, Sagittarius, December, well, man, they're way more calm, way more calm. Uh, they will still give you that I am a Sagittarius, like I am the leader. I do run this, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like they will still give you that attitude, but it's just not as much as a November does. Uh, Sagittarius men, I'm about to go in on this. So my relationship with Sagittarius men um, have been very terrible. It always is like the same way. Uh, it's beautiful in the beginning. Um, Towards the middle, it gets very terrible, and the ending is terrible. Uh, I always try to end stuff on a good note, um, like the whole agree to disagree, because I'm not a confrontational person. I really don't like to argue, but somehow with Sagittarius men, there's always that argument. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's been many exes that I've had with Sagittarius men. Yeah, just no. It's just terrible. Very egotistical. Full of themselves. Like, it's just, I don't know, terrible. Like, they act like they don't know how to be in a relationship. It's just, I don't know. But, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say on that one. Is Every time, all I'm going to say is every time I get with a Sagittarius man, my heart gets broken. So that's just that on that. Okay. Uh, going to Leo. I would say the worst of their own element of the fire signs of the fire element is Leo. Reason why I say this every time, every time I get in a confrontation with somebody, or not even a confrontation, and every time there's a problem, I just notice it's with the Leo. I've never got along with the Leo. Uh, there was one person my whole entire life I ever got along with the Leo. He worked at my old job. He was a Leo with a, and this is the thing, I'm not going to just talk bad about your sun sign if I know your moon sign too. The reason being is because my moon sign, you'll understand. So this Leo that I actually did get along with, he was a Leo with a Capricorn moon. 
I love Capricorns, so and we're going to get to that later. I'm pretty sure they're the last on the list. I'm going to talk to you how good I love Capricorns, okay? Capricorn men, sorry, not Capricorn women. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, Leo, Leo women, let's start there. Um, I don't think I've ever had a Leo girl as a friend. I just know there's a particular Leo in my family. And, well, I, I mean, I guess I'll just say in general then, uh, Leo women are way too much. Like, I would say delusional, if we're going to pick a name, uh, pick a label, I would say delusional. Uh, the constant begging for attention, like, I get it, I said that for Sagittarius women, but Leo, you know how Leos are. They have to have attention on them. If attention is not on them, they feel like something is wrong with you. And <laughs> me, I hate that. I don't like egotistical people. Or people who feel like they're better than you because they have materialistic things. Or just because, I don't know, in their head, in their mind, in their mentally mind, they really, and they convince themselves and they brainwash themselves with their own ego and their own lies. And it's weird. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, the Leo women that I've dealt with do not like me. I don't like them, so that is fine. Life goes on, my bills are still paid, so I don't care. But the Leo women are very, to me, they're very much players, especially when they're in a relationship. They're players, dude. Like, there's some, there's, like, these two Leo women that I know of will literally talk to men or date them at the same time, get stuff from them, play the hell out of them, and then when the man find out and cut them off, they will go to social media to complain about it, or they'll go to their friends and complain about and say that they were such a good woman to them. And it's like, you knew you was playing them the whole time. That's why I can never trust or even really talk to a Leo woman. Because it's always going to be in their flip floppy. They're so flip floppy. Oh my god. Anytime I try to be friends with a Leo, they'll literally hate me one day. And be fake and smile to my face the next day. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I probably would never be friends with a Leo woman. Um, we could just never hang out. I mean, we, we can hang, no, yeah, we'll just never hang out. Never. I can never trust you. Um, you're very flip-floppy. Um, you beg for attention too much, and then when you get it, you say that everybody's obsessed with you, and no. It's just not cute. It's not attractive to me at all. But yeah. And you in a relationship is not attractive to me at all. Playing people at the same time and then when they finally figure it out uh, and finally want to cut you off, you get mad at them for that and then go to your friends and or social media, which is the most childish and immature thing ever, uh, to complain about it and tell people that you were the innocent one when you know that's a lie. That's bullshit to me. Uh, Leo men. Um... I've only dated two Leo men in my lifetime. Both relationships ended badly. Their problem is they want to move so fast. It's just that fire energy. You know, they want to move so fast, they want to do everything so quickly. And then they break up with you because they're like, you know what? Maybe I took this relationship too quick. And it's all the while, me being who I am, I'm just like, yeah, because that's what I've been telling you the whole relationship. Hey, we should go slow. And that's the thing. When you disagree with the Leo, they get so upset about it. And they're so bipolar in the fucking mind that they get so upset and like flip out, basically, because I don't know what reason. But anyway, I'm just telling you my experience. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Leo men... 
relationships that I've had have ended badly. Um, they move too quickly with things. They say, I love you too, way too quick. Because they think that time doesn't matter, which is true for some people. Uh, I've seen people get married within months of knowing each other and laugh, their marriage lasted. You know what I'm saying? So I get that whole time is a trick thing because it is, you know. But at the same time, when you're saying I love you too quick, like in the first week or second week of relationship, that's stupid to me. I'm sorry. That's just... We we just met each other. Don't be weird. That's stupid. And but they're like there but there was this man I said worked at my old job. He was a Leo. His moon was in Capricorn and we got along great. Never did anything. Uh it was strictly a friendship. Uh I had the biggest crush on him though. Uh because of my moon sign. I because like my Mercury is in Sagittarius and my moon is in Virgo. So I basically get along with, I communicate very effectively with fire signs and I get along with earth signs as well. So, you know, the fact that he was a Leo with the moon and Capricorn, we got along great. Like we always laugh together. We always have fun together. I miss that man to death. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I guess that's pretty much that on the Leo. So I guess I'll move on to the air elements. So let me talk about Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius females that I've had in a friendship, it's went fine. We always get along. Like, not gonna lie, they throw hella shade. I'm not gonna lie, they throw so much shade to before I look at them. I'm like, so are we friends? Like, cause you keep like, Cause you're like going in on me and they'll be like, girl, I'm just playing with you. And I'll be like, okay, but I feel like some things you really feel from the heart and you, you just don't want to like, like say, Hey, yeah, this is truly how I feel. Uh, but yeah, the Aquarius women, they're fine. They seem super chill. They are super chill. They're super chill. They're very honest. They're very blunt. And I respect that. I ain't got no problem with that. Um, very playful like they play too much like they t sometimes take it too far and i'm just like okay chill like chill that's even with people with their moon in aquarius play way too much and that i'm not gonna lie it pisses me off it it, it annoys the hell out of me because like i get it but if a person says stop and you, you know you're trying to do the whole well you know you only live once and don't take life you know so seriously i get that i love to have fun but at the same time when somebody told you to stop and you keep doing it, it will annoy them. Um, so I'm going to move on to Aquarius men now. So I've only dated one Aquarius men, man. Um, that was, I don't want to say my worst relationship, but it was one of. So the Aquarius men that I dated, he was very much controlling, very much jealous. Well, not even jealous, just very controlling. Um, he compared me to other women, like talked down on me to compare me to other women. Like, why don't you look like her? Why don't you talk like her? Why isn't your hair as long as hers? Why don't you, you know, stuff like that. Uh, very emotionally and verbally abusive uh, man. That's why, it, and it's sad to say, uh, to a lot of people, this is just zodiac signs. Um, to me, I take it very seriously, which is why I said, as a grown woman, that's the only, I've only dated one Aquarius man my whole entire life. Because I take it that seriously. Once you show me the signs of like an ex I used to have, I don't want to have anything to do with you because I'm just like, I don't want to go back to that. Because um, it's like repeating. It's just like repeating, I don't know. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's that on that for Aquarius. Uh, let's move on to Gemini. Ooh, Gemini. Yeah, if you know me, you guys know, like, I don't, uh, like, I don't want to say I hate Geminis. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're the most hated sign next to Leo. But anyway, Gemini women. The Gemini women that I came in contact with are really just what a Gemini is, have two personalities, very two-faced, um, 
who will love me one minute and hate me the next. I don't like that. Very sarcastic, uh, very condescending tone. I've noticed every Gemini that I try to have a conversation with, they're very condescending to me. Uh, they talk to me like I'm stupid and I'm actually a very intelligent black woman. Uh, so it's very annoying, which is why they're probably one of the most hated Zodiac signs. Um, the Gemini women that I've come in contact with, uh, very smart. I will say they're very witty, very clever. Uh, Gemini men as well, they're very intelligent, very smart. But I just feel like when you feel like, when you put yourself as in, oh, I'm smarter than you, uh, that makes me better than you, which is why they talk in a very condescending tone because it's like, oh, okay, I feel like, like if I ask them a question, they take it as every question that I ask them is dumb because because they feel like, well, I know that information, so why don't you, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I dated a Gemini man. We were on and off for years, like years, years. I will say a Gemini, if they fall in love with you, they are the best lovers. Hands down. Um <laughs> There's really what I got to say about them, really, because they're the best lovers. Like, I can't even, I can't fault that. Like, that's something I cannot talk down about. I can't even sugarcoat. They're the best lovers. They're one of the best lovers I've ever had. The only reason why me and him broke up is because he had no ambition. Um, I like people that are goal oriented, who like to work towards goals as if I am, who like to see them, who like to be something in life, who want a career, um, whatever field that may be, because I don't discriminate nobody's job. If it pays your bills, if it makes you financially free, if it makes you not, not even not even just wealthy, just successful in your own right. That's all that matters to me. But if you don't have any ambition, then I am not attracted to you. Um, and another thing about Gemini's is that they feel like the only advice they can take is their own, which it could be a good and bad thing. So if it's like, um, if you ask somebody for their advice or if somebody just sees you in a bad situation and they try to give you advice, which is good advice at that, and you don't take it and then bad stuff happens, I'm going to look at you like you're stupid because you are stupid. Like I tried to help you out. And since you're such a Gemini and your ego is up here, you think you're better than everybody else. You don't want to listen. And then you wonder why bad stuff happens to you. Then don't complain about it. That's all I got to say. Just don't come crying to me. That's all I got to say. I am going to have the I told you so attitude. Because like I said, my Mercury is Sagittarius. So I'm very blunt. I don't care. My moon is in Virgo, so I truly don't care. And I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, so it's like, you didn't listen to me, so why should I care about you crying now? That's how I feel. So, I mean, I feel like if a Gemini would just get out of the, if it's not my way, it's the highway type thing, then they will be awesome. I mean, I know a lot of successful Geminis that I love, like Prince and like I don't know so many so many I love Prince I love Marilyn Monroe they're both Gemini's very successful um but yeah if they would just get out of that mindset I feel like everything will be great you know what I mean but that's just my personal experience with them so yeah uh moving on uh Libra I would say Yeah, I would say this the weakest of their element, of the air element, is a Libra. They're very, very emotional. They want to feel accepted by everyone all the time, and that's very annoying. They're all about fair and justice, so they'll argue with you about stuff that doesn't need to be argued about. I don't, don't get why. I mean, I guess because they're the balance thing, but fair and justice, theory, that's the Libra, the balance, the goat. <laughs> Um, Libra women, like I said, um, I never got along with a Libra woman. There, there's only one woman, one Libra woman my whole entire life I've ever got along with. 
and me and her don't even talk now you know what I mean uh yeah but Libra women they're very snappy at the mouth very snappy at the mouth um some of them are quiet you see this is the thing I met two types of Libra women some of them are quiet and reserved and mind their business and are very nice and the others are very loud and want you to hear their voice and will talk over you and be rude so that's really my take on that in friendship in relationship the Libra guy that I had was he was amazing um they're great lovers I will say that Gemini and Libras are very great lovers the thing about them is Libras can be scary towards the end if you guys break up they will do the most grimy stuff to you like they will know and they will let you know that they are done with you they will do some grimy below the belt stuff they will hurt you and will throw something at you with all they got like that's how it is that's just period like that's not even me throwing shade that's just is what it is like that's just, oh, it's terrible it gets to the point where it's like okay <laughs> okay <laughs> oh next element water let me start with pisces come on okay like come on now <laughs> i'm sorry uh, I had a friend, she was a Pisces, um, have a sister, she's a Pisces, absolutely crazy, like, because they're so emotional and so passionate because of their water sign that they are crazy like <laughs> that's just what it is absolutely crazy uh don't want to say flip floppy but they do have a mental battle when it comes to their mind and their heart like yeah i think that's why they seem flip floppy to people because they have such a they make so many decisions between their mind and their heart, and this is a constant battle. Like, okay, should I do this or should I do this? You know what I mean? My heart is telling me this, my mind is telling me this. Um, yeah, very sensitive. Every time I made a Pisces, they're overly sensitive. If I like, like I kind of walk on eggshells to talk to them. Like, dreamers, uh, they are known for that. Uh, their head is always in the clouds. That is definitely true. Always, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Very spontaneous. Like, they want to do things out on a whim. And that's crazy to me. Like, it's weird because it's like, in a relationship, it's cool. Because it's like, oh my gosh, this person always has something planned. You know what I mean? You, you see that as romantic. And they are known for their romance. But sometimes whenever, you know, it's just a friend, it's like, oh, you're really crazy like that. Like, you're really spontaneous. You're really optimistic. Like, you really don't care. Like, you really want to get up and go. Like, it, it's really that easy for you. Like, that's scary. <laughs> that's, like, scary. But, yeah, uh, what I can say about Pisces is really emotional. Um, the Pisces man that I was with. See, that's the thing about Pisces men, though. It's safe to say that they are fuckboys. Um... And this is the thing about a Pisces man. They are serious. I'll put it this way. They're serious with the one they want. They will change for the woman that they want. I've seen Pisces men do stupid stuff in relationships like cheating and all that. But if they find the one that they really, really want, and want to spend their life with type thing they will change i promise you they will change they will literally become a family man overnight if they really seriously see themselves seriously with you settling down commitment everything like that they will change so it's the thing of like and this is just for all men it if a man wants to change he will do it for the woman he actually wants he will 
love the woman effectively and change for the woman he sees himself actually with. And I'm going to tell you right now, if he doesn't see himself with you, baby, he's not going to change for you. He's not. You can beg and plead that man to change all you want, but if he doesn't, it's because he actually doesn't want to be with you. That's just that on that. Period. If he doesn't, I don't know, like, that's just how men are. If they don't see themselves seriously with you, they're like, well, why would I change for you when I could be with her? That's just how, and it's sad to say that, but it's like, that's really how it is. Um, Pisces men, they're very much dreamers, too. Very emotional, too. Very sensitive. Um, me, myself, I cannot be with Pisces um, because they are sensitive. Like I said, uh, I'm a very blunt person, and I always feel like I walk on eggshells when I'm around a sensitive person, and I don't want to live my life like that. I don't want to spend the rest of my life with somebody like that. Somebody who's overly sensitive uh, will start an argument with me because they are offended by everything that I say. Um, too emotional, always crying all the time. I cannot deal with that. My moon in Virgo won't deal with that. <laughs> so yeah, that's that on that on Pisces. They're just crazy as hell. And they cry too much. And it is need to stop. Friendship-wise, amazing. I can be friends with the Pisces. We just can't be together. <laughs> yeah anyway cancers oh my god friendship wise amazing relationship wise it's hell the constant mood swings constant crying all the time uh, i've been cheated on by a cancer uh it's just constant 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 something constant arguments can't do it friendship wise it's really sweet uh, they're very nurturing. They have a uh, mother kind of, uh, they're like the mother of the friends. They take care of everybody, and I love that. I love somebody who's caring. It's just whenever I'm in a relationship with them, it gets crazy. Um, it's just something that I'm not going to deal with. I've gotten my, I've been played and cheated on by cancers, multiple cancers, not just one, multiple. So I'm not just speaking of just one thing, it's been multiple. But yeah, Shit. that on that. Uh, Taurus, um, it's always like a good and bad thing with the Taurus. They really like to argue, and I'm not uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped some. I skipped one other sign in the water element, which I should not have done because that is my sign. Yes, I am a Scorpio. That is my sun sign. With the moon in Virgo and a Mercury in Sagittarius. And my rising sign is also in Virgo. So yes, you can judge me on that. Because I don't care. I am the best. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Okay, whoa. Okay, so let's get down to it. You know I'm going to go in. You know I'm going to go in. Because I've had a relationship with Scorpios. Um, friendship with a Scorpio? It could go either way. And that's the sucky part. Since I am a Scorpio, it's hard for me to get along with other Scorpios. Like, it's not hard for me. I get along with other Scorpios. It's just there's some Scorpios. There's three phases of a Scorpio. They're the only sign in the 12 zodiac signs that have three phases, okay? <sighs> okay. I mean, you have the apex Scorpio. I mean, there's a, the Scorpios are like the October Scorpios. See, October Scorpios, the, I'm going to talk about all the phases, right? Friendship. Women. Let's, I'm just going to focus on the women. So, in October Scorpios for women, they are so awesome. Like I said, um, it goes based on your moon sign. Like, there was this uh, Scorpio, she was a manager at my job. We got along so great. Her moon was in, well, her moon was in Scorpio as well. She had a lot of Scorpio in her chart. We got along great. It was like, we were like this. We were like that, okay? We were a team, because that's what Scorpios do. Oh, my God, I need, I need to calm down. But anyway, <laughs> but anyways, 
uh, yeah, we got along great. Like there was no issues. Everybody else had a problem with our friendship because we were so good together. That's how it was. Strictly friendship. And we were so awesome that everybody got mad and jealous. Period. Oh, well. <laughs> there was another Scorpio who I didn't get along with. Her moon was in Leo. You know how I feel about Leos. So, I mean, that's why. I mean, obviously. It's just the fact that my first encounter with her, like literally me meeting her for the first day, and she was talking about my mom, and y'all know. Well, if you don't know, now you know. I'm very serious about my family. Don't ever talk about my family. That's why, you know, I'm a Scorpio. I handle mine, okay? So... I will always be protective over the ones that I love. That's the Scorpio in me. I love them to death. I love my family to death. Um, it is what it is. The only person, the really the worst person you could talk about in my family is my mom because she's my everything. So if you say something about her, it's whatever to me. Like, And I mean that and I'm so serious. Like, don't talk about her because you don't know her. So, yeah, that was why we didn't get along. We were literally back and forth, back and forth for a whole entire year. That's how bad it was. And we worked together, so it was terrible. <laughs> ah, it was terrible. And then we recently actually started getting along when I left that job. So it's like, cool, you know? But we were back and forth for so long to the point where it was like, like literally people had to, uh, sorry, there's a bug. People had to, like, intervene. That's how terrible it was. Like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, there's a Northern Scorpio that I got along with great. She was October Scorpio, too. Um, she was so funny because she was my inner voice. The stuff that, like I said, I'm not confrontational. So the stuff that I don't want to say... Because I know it'll put everybody in an uproar or it'll make everybody mad. She said it. And I told her that. I was like, you know, you say everything that's on my mind and I love you. Like, <laughs> like oh my gosh, it was crazy because everybody hated her at that job. And I loved her for that. Like, I love that she was herself. She was her authentic self. And nobody liked her for that. And I loved it. I loved it. If you can be yourself, everybody hates you, and you not care, because you know at the end of the day, you're not trying to impress nobody. I love you for that. I'm a blunt person. A lot of people don't like me because I say what's on my mind. People don't want you to say the truth. People don't want you to say what's really on your mind. That's just on period. Okay? That's on period. And it is what it is. Um, so, but yeah, the woman with the Scorpio and Moon and Leo, she was an Apex Scorpio. Apex Scorpio is the one that is born, like, in the early November days. Like, November 1st through 5th or something like that. That's like an apex or first through whatever. I'm the kind of Scorpio, Friday the 13th, baby. All right. November 13th. Uh, I'm the kind of Scorpio. I'm a very calm Scorpio. Um, we barely talk much. We are very much observers. Uh, I watch everything that everybody does. I'm always a step ahead because I watch everything. That's how I am. I'm very blunt because my Mercury is a Sagittarius. There was another Scorpio. Her birthday was number, November 14th. We were literally attached at the hip like this. Her Mercury was also in Sagittarius, but her moon was in Aquarius. Like I said, I hate a lot of people with a moon in Aquarius because they play too much. <laughs> like, for real. Like, it would get so serious from where we would argue. That's how much, like, she would play around. Um, but yeah. 
<sighs> yeah, but literally we were attached to the hip. We acted just alike. We said a lot of the same things, which is why we got in a lot of arguments, though, uh, because we were so much alike to the point where it was like, okay, it's just, just too much passion. You know, uh, the, the water element is so much passion, which is why we're so emotional. We, um, But the thing about a Scorpio is we're so intense. We are the strongest of that element, of the water element, because we're so strong, we're so intense. Um, when I feel something, I feel it wholeheartedly. When I'm happy, I'm very happy. I'm so joyous. I'm so joyful that I, I've i been so happy to the point where I was crying. And I'm not even a crier. Uh, when I'm mad, I'm very angry. Beyond my limit. Beyond something that I control. Like my... I'm hot on the inside, my chest is burning, I'm shaking, I see black, like I get very angry. When I'm sad, I feel everything. I am so intense with my sadness that like I don't talk to anyone, you know what I mean? Like it's it's so intense, like I'm very intense with my emotions. For a Scorpio, it's very intense. We are all or nothing. And I mean that in the fullest. We are very much all or nothing. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm never in between. When I feel something, I feel all of it. And if I don't care, I don't care. I feel none of it. So, yeah. Uh, so I would say a Scorpio in a relationship. Uh, the Scorpio men are fuck boys. So we're gonna we're gonna just go out and say that. Um, I have no problem talking bad about my sign, only because I know our strengths, I know our weaknesses. It is what it is. Nobody's perfect, obviously. Uh, but yeah, Scorpio men are fuck boys. When they, like I said, I said this earlier, and this is general for all men. When a man wants to change for you, he will do it for the woman he wants. He will do it for the woman he wants to marry. So when I say a Scorpio is a fuckboy, I mean that wholeheartedly. But if he, like I've seen Scorpio men change because they found the woman they wanted to marry. They found a woman they could be serious with. If a Scorpio finds someone they can be serious with, they will change for you, I promise you. We are big on loyalty. We are big on trust. Like we are so big on trust because we don't trust nobody. Okay. We have our guard up all the time. That's through friendship, relationship. It doesn't matter. We always have our guard up. Like that's just is what it is. And if you see that the video got darker, it's because um, the sun, well, I'm using the sun's natural light. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's just how it is on that. But yeah, like, Scorpio women in a relationship, I'm going to talk about myself. I, yeah. A Scorpio woman in a relationship, we are so passionate. Like, that's just is what it is on that. We're so we're just so passionate with our emotions. It's too intense for other signs. It's too intense for us, even. Like, I don't like to be sad because I know when I get sad, it's too much for me. It's too much for me, which is why I don't talk to anyone because I don't want my negative pet space to rub off on anybody. Like, I just really cut people off with a quickness. And me, myself, speaking from a Scorpio with a moon in Virgo, when I say cut you off, like, I literally can walk by you in public and not see you, not say hi to you, and it will not affect me. Like, it's so serious. Like, my family knows when I cut somebody off, whether that's family or not. I've had to cut family off before. When it's family or not, it is what it is. Like, I really don't see you no more. You will never hear from me again. You will never see me ever again. I will not even bring you up in a conversation because that's how much I don't care about you. That's why I say when it's real for me, it's real. I feel my, intense, my emotions very intensely and I'm a very passionate person. That's just that on that. <laughs> um, yeah, Scorpio woman in a relationship. Like, we question a lot of things because of our trust issues. Our guard is always up. Um, we're very possessive. 
I know they say that Scorpios are very jealous, but I am not a jealous person, actually. I'm very possessive. When my, what is mine is mine. I'm very territorial. You will not take what's mine. And I'm also, and that's where my moon in Virgo comes in, is because I'm very picky. Virgos are picky. They're perfectionists. And we're going to get to Virgos later on, but I'm just saying, in general, this is who I am, um, which is why I am the way I am. So if I pick you and you waste my time, that pisses me off. So I'm going to put it that way. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's move on to the earth element. Yay. Ooh, earth element. Yay. Um, let's talk about Taurus. I guess you could say Taurus. I would say Taurus is the strongest of that element, of the earth element. It really is. Uh, there's only... Very few Taurus women I can get along with because they like to argue too much. I'm not confrontational. I don't argue. I don't care that much. My moon of Virgo allows me not to care that much about you, to argue with you. That's just really how I am. I promise you, swear to God, that's how I am. Um, Taurus women like to argue. They really want to have the last word. They want you to make you, they may, They want you to think that they're right about everything and they're absolutely not. Uh, there was one Taurus woman, she was just, she would look stupid and she didn't care because she thought that she was right. Like she really did not, really did not care. Like, don't know what was wrong with her. Taurus woman, uh, I mean, all tours are very stubborn, very, very stubborn, very hard-headed. They just don't care what anybody else is telling them. Like, it's, it gets to the point where it's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> Not weird, but it's like, okay, you're so strong-willed. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> um... Very emotional when they're in a relationship, though. Have I ever been with a Taurus man? No. Come to think of it, I actually have not. I want to see what that's like. Scared. <laughs> Scared. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, yeah, I've never been with this forest man. That's crazy. I've been with every other sign. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about Virgos. Yay. Let's talk about Virgos. Woo! My father was a Virgo. My moon is a Virgo. Um, I relate to them so much. That's why I love them so much. Uh, love Virgo men. Love hardworking. Love. I just love a man with a good work ethic. Hardworking. They're hustlers. Um. Quiet, get their business done. I appreciate that. I love men who do that. I like anybody who do that, really. Like, just shut up, get your work done. So you can just chill out for the rest of the day. That's me. Perfectionist, picky, detail-oriented, hardworking, goal-oriented. That's all the qualities of a Virgo. And that's all the qualities that I have because my moon is a Virgo. And my rising sign is a Virgo, so it's worse. It is worse. Anyway, Virgo women are literally crazy. Like, they're too energetic. Like, they talk so much. They're really weird. And they're like, 
I don't know. Some of them I met are lazy. Some of them I met are hardworking. So it goes hand in hand sometimes. The Virgo men that I meet all are hardworking. Um, hustlers, like I said, they're all perfectionists, which is why they get their work done and so effectively and so efficiently. Um, yeah, that's really, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of Virgos make dumb decisions. I hate it. And I hate it so much. Like I said, I, there's people in my family that are Virgos. I've met Virgos. I've been friends with Virgos. They can just make dumb decisions, you guys. <laughs> like, I don't, like, dumb to the point where it's like, why did you, like, I've never been in a relationship with them.